So in this first module, I'm going to show you how to use Scalar to play an instrument in your project in key with the other parts. So at the moment, I've got this hip hop groove with just a drum loop and then a bass loop on these two tracks here. And I can see from the bass sample name that the bass is in A flat. So at the moment, if I go to this hard piano track here and with a record armed, just play the keys on my QWERTY keyboard from A to K. It just plays C to C, as you can also see on the keyboard in the MIDI editor here. So that's just playing a scale of C major, which isn't going to be in tune uh, with the bass. So what we need to do is go to a MIDI track here and add Scalar. And it needs to be the VST version with this version of Scalar to make sure it works correctly in terms of triggering other instruments. So the VST rather than the audio units, AU version that is. And next thing we need to do is select our scale. So we do that by choosing scales here. And you can see we have note and type options. So I just need to select the correct note there, which is going to be A flat or G sharp. And then we can see a list of all the scales we can choose below. All I want is the minor scale. Once you've chosen your scale, you can see the notes in the scale are highlighted on the keyboard above. So we can just find A flat there. And if I start my groove, so there's the notes in our scale going from A flat to A flat, but we want to have it so we can play them using the QWERTY keyboard. And at the moment it will still play C to C. So I'd need to literally just move up and down to the nearest blue note by looking at the screen there. And we want to have it do that automatically. So to do that, we just have to activate scale lock. But what that does is it just pushes it to the nearest note in the scale. So if I play a C now, actually jumps to the B. And if I play the D, it jumps to the D flat and so on up through the scale. So you'd need to find out where the A flat is here or the nearest note to it and then play that key, so it's not ideal. And also you'll find it'll miss out some notes and repeat others. So the other thing you need to do is click on the settings there and choose white keys only. What will happen now when I play the A, you can see it now plays the A flat. So now I can go from A to K and play our complete scale. Next thing I need to do is to root Scalar to the instrument in my project. And I do that by turning on the IO settings here. And then you'll see in the MIDI from on that particular instrument track, I can choose Scalar. And then as the second option, and this is the important one not to forget, I choose Scalar again there. Now, if you're using the AU version, you might find that you don't see this scalar option there. And so it won't work correctly. It'll still play C to C when you play those notes. So important to remember to use the VST version and then also to select scalar as the second option there. Next thing to remember is <clears throat> if you set scalar, the scalar track to an input monitor, that means that when the track isn't record armed, it will still receive MIDI notes even if I record on a different track here. And now you can hear the correct MIDI notes are rooting into our instrument track so I can play along in A flat minor. And it works the same way for any track. So if I just create a new MIDI track, and just add any instrument to it for now, like analog. And then choose Scalar. 
as the input in both the options. Now that it's record armed, you can hear it's now playing in key as well. <laughs> 